the top Democrat donors to the Democrat Party who buy tons of media planted a story with the different media companies after Trump was assassinated attempt trying to create the false flag or plant the false flag story in media companies that Trump staged this assassination himself or it was part of a Russia disinformation program. Top Democratic strategist pushed reporters to consider staged shooting semaphore. The top political advisor to Democratic mega donor Reid Hoffman suggested that the attack on Donald Trump could have been staged, even as Hoffman was criticized for joking before Saturday's attack about Trump becoming a martyr. The advisor, Dmitry Mielhorn, apologized for his remarks after Semaphore published this story and said his email laying out his claims was drafted without consultation from team members or allies. Hoffman, the founder of LinkedIn, whose net worth is reportedly $2.5 billion, joked at last week's billionaire confab in Sun Valley that he wished he had made Trump an actual martyr. Sunday, he said on X that he was referring to accountability to the rule of law and that he's horrified and saddened by the attack. A.D. The scale of Hoffman's political donations isn't public but Neilhorn said on a recent private conference call that Reid and I have invested nine figures of our own money to prevent Trump from getting back into office. The money appears to be largely Hoffman's. In an email Saturday at 7.34 p.m. that appeared to be addressed to sympathetic journalists and which was also sent to Semaphore, Neilhorn wrote that one possibility which feels horrific and alien and absurd in America, but is quite common globally, is that this shooting was encouraged and maybe even staged so Trump could get the photos and benefit from the backlash. This is a classic Russian tactic, such as when Putin killed 300 civilians in 1999 and blamed it on terrorists to ride the backlash to winning power. Others who have embraced this tactic of committing raw evil and then benefiting from the backlash include Hamas on October 7. If any Trump officials encouraged or knew of this attack, that is morally horrific, and Republicans of decency must demand that Trump step down as unfit. The other possibility, Neilhorn wrote, is that some crazy anti-Trumper in this chaotic moment decided to assassinate the former president. A.D. Neilhorn, who co-founded a fund called Investing in U.S. with Hoffman, made clear his impulse was toward the false flag theory. I know I am prone to bias on this, but this is a classic Putin play and given the facts seems more plausible. Look at the actual shot. Look at the staging. Look at how ready Trump is to rally. This pampered baby shit his pants when an eagle lunged at his food. Look at how quickly Trump protects himself at the expense of others, but showed few of those lifelong instincts in this moment. And consider how often Putin and his allies run this play. He continued. I know it feels yucky to discuss such a possibility. But in this case, the odds are so high, and the stakes so consequential, we must ask the question. Neilhorn wrote that he was disappointed that journalists were not already raising the possibility of a fake shooting. Ask the question, people. If it proves wrong, we should respond appropriately to a non-staged act of political violence, as outlined above. But you're credit that journalists were not already raising the possibility of a fake shooting. Ask the question, people. If it proves wrong, we should respond appropriately to a non-staged act of political violence, as outlined above. But your credibility and our entire system of truth and justice depends on being certain of the answer. A.D. Neilhorn said in response to a follow-up question that his words were, not a public statement, and a spokesperson said she didn't have further immediate comment. At about 2.40 p.m. Eastern, Neilhorn sent another statement updating his original email, Last night, I sent an email I now regret. It was drafted and sent without consultation from team members or allies. I have apologized to them directly. I also want to apologize publicly, without reservation, for allowing my words to distract from last night's central fact 
Political violence took yet another innocent American life last night. We must unite in condemnation of such violence in every instance, without reservation. Any other topic is a distraction. I am grateful that those injured last night appear to be on the path to full recovery. Again, I apologize, and wish I had reacted as thoughtfully as Reed Hoffman this morning. So there you have it. This is the top billionaires that gather together their money and give over a hundred million to the Democrat Party and they have their own company that buys the media time. So they're the one who come up with the money and pay the media directly and they're you can see they're pressuring them directly. Ask the question could Trump have staged this himself? Ask the question could it be Russia, Russia, Russia? And they got caught. So Elon Musk posted this story from here. Semaphore. And this has nothing to do with politics. It's about military. Anyway, they got exposed and now they want to make sure everybody forgets. But when Democrats say that Trump could have staged this himself, it was because these people put this out and the media has asked the question, as they say, and so the Democrats didn't propagandize and brainwash themselves. These guys did. 